Hello, it's Sean with Blade Mate Lawn Care. Today is bloody hot. I've been mowing all morning. I'm just at home having a bit of a spell in the aircon, cooling down a little bit before I go and tackle the rest of this gigantic cleanup that you're all here to see. My wife's got me something which is kind of helped me you know, catch my breath a bit. Can't go wrong with some delicious cold watermelon. Alrighty, let me finish stuffing my face and let's get to work. Those fronds look like they've been planted deliberately and aren't weeds. The reason I think that is because I've never seen them anywhere around here before. As such, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not go too rough in there. It's gonna be quite a little bit of uh, grass left in the middle, but I think given the circumstances, I can be forgiven for not making that little section there 100%, only because it's really the only kind of garden in this whole yard. The size of that roadback spider. Look at the f oh, she is big and nasty looking. And look at the nests everywhere where it's had my hands. I will not be touching that anymore. Thank you. 
So here she is, the hero of the day. This is a 22 inch self-propelled two-stroke Victor 550. The 550s have are various models. I'm not sure off the top of my head what this one is. Um, essentially, it's a 30 year old design. Um, these have been around since the early 80s. Um, and they only stopped making them about kind of 12 years ago. Um, oh, it's a, <laughs> I only picked this up last week and I'm pretty glad I did. I wasn't quite expecting that outcome from it, but <clears throat> needless to say, we've seen a lot more of, of this one. Well, that was fun. That's done. That was huge. I'm very tired. Um, also, very, very content. So, time for the question on your mind. How much did I earn for doing this? Um, zero dollars. Probably less than zero when you take in the fuel I used. Told you I quoted a crazy amount. Told you I'd be insane to quote that amount. Why? Well, I guess the real question is, why not? I've said in a previous video that I love what I do. I do this for the love of it. Now, I think it's very, very important to do what you can for your community when you can. If you have the means, if you have the time, if you have the ability. Well, I drive past this house uh, quite often, and every time I look at them, I'm like, oh, that is, that's looking pretty nasty. It's getting you know worse and worse coming by the week, um, as you saw. I read a lot of comments. Um, people say, oh, how could you ever let your yard get that way? My brain doesn't work that way. I have, in my life, needed help from people. So my first thought is, why? What is going on in that person's life that they can't get it done? There must be something. It's not judgment. It's, hey, there's obviously something you know bad going on. Turns out I was right. I went and uh, banged on the door here. I, the lady wasn't home, um, so I left a note with my card. I said, hey, I'd love to uh, um, get my hands on your yard, and I'll tidy it up for free. Give me a call. So the next day, I had a phone call uh, from this lady. Turns out, I was, I was exactly, absolutely right with uh, my assessment that something was going on. Um, she'd been battling some health issues uh, for you know, the last 18 months or so. Um, compounded by uh, issues with immediate family members um, and their health issues. Um, I'm not going to go into too many personal details of this person. However, the point I'm making is never ever just judge someone. Help when you can because it feels good. Like, I feel great. I'm looking forward. To, like, she's not home at the moment. I'm going to send her a photo. I just I just can't wait for the response. You know, She's just going to be so happy and that makes me happy. Um, yeah, so money's not everything. Help where you can, guys. Alrighty, see you next time.